On this channel, we've looked at retail workers who've had to deal with Karen. However, we're going to be looking at retail workers who turned out to be Karen. So we flipped the switch. Instead of Karen customers, we're looking at Karen retail workers. And yes, I'm aware it's a very small amount, but still, let's have a look at some of these TikToks. This is how you clear a bitch. Especially if you go to a store and they think you can't afford anything. It's okay to just go in an expensive store to look too. It's okay. It's literally okay. Like, you don't have to feel... They try to pressure you. That's like... They get trying to kind of mean associates in expensive stores to try to like pressure you to buy anything. Them, they're miserable. Anyways, that happened today. I had a miserable sales associate. And I said, after I was looking around for five minutes and I caught the vibe, I said, can I work with someone else today? Oh, and now, and then it was, oh, was something wrong? Yes, your energy was low. You're low vibrational. Get out of my face. <laughs> I feel like a lot of times that happens in luxury brands. Have you ever walked into like a very expensive store and like the people walking around, you know, who will like help you buy stuff? Do you ever get like a snobby, snobby feeling off them? Kind of like they judge you and look at you to think if you'd be able to afford anything. I've seen loads of videos online about people talking about, you know, retail workers who work in like luxury places. They basically look at you as if you're dirt. And yet again, I do want to say again, this is only a very small amount of people. But, I mean, some of these retail workers are Karens. I'm not wealthy, but my dad is. He lives in Miami. He's a short Latino man man and he usually wears swim trunks and a black v-neck and flip-flops and he walked into the tiffany store to get his wife a ring and the sales associate didn't attend him for 45 minutes he's very big like ego alpha he wants to be like helped as soon as he walks in so he was already pissed at that he comes back a week later to get the ring resized and the lady's like that's gonna be 600 dollars to resize i don't know if you want to do it. and he's like i'm not asking you how much it is i just want to resize anyways um they left the store and they went to Cartier, Cartier, I don't know how you say it, um, to buy something there because they're like, okay, F Tiffany's. He writes the CEO of Tiffany's an email from his work email, which is like well known. And the CEO is like so apologetic. My dad's confrontational goes to Tiffany's to humble the sales associate. Oh. And he basically goes with like his Cartier bag and in front of the entire her entire team he's like you need to be careful and be kind to everyone because you never know who the richest person in the room is and most of the time it's not the person that's decked out in designer and like i wish i could have been there to see her face and his cadence because I'm sure it was a show. That right there is exactly what I'm talking about. That man was obviously wealthy, you know, he had money. So a lot of times there's a difference between a rich person and a wealthy person. A lot of times a rich person is decked out in very expensive stuff. You know, they're basically screaming, I'm rich, I've got money. However, a wealthy person is very much more low key. You know, you wouldn't necessarily tell straight away that they had a lot of money. But obviously this guy walked into the shop in normal clothes. He was ignored for 45 minutes. And then the woman was basically like, yeah, it could be this amount of money. Are you sure you're gonna be able to afford that. Imagine saying that to a customer. I mean, a lot of times people walk into a store just have a wee look around. I've done it before. But you don't know they could actually go in there to purchase a load of stuff. And I'm thinking about the workers. Obviously, they're going to try and look out for people who look rich. So it means they can make more money off them. But if someone's walking around and looking at stuff, you might as well go up to them and be like, oh, you okay? You ready to buy anything? You just having a wee look? Because that person might actually be planning and buying stuff. But if you're rude to them, they might just go, do you want to do something? Screw it and walk out. I think it's Loki kind of iconic that he literally sent the Tiffany's owner an email and he got a response i've got a feeling that red retail worker might have got a bit of a telling off later retail employees your job is no different than mine is okay when i walk into your establishment and i buy a whole of stuff i expect for you to say thank you have a good night when i leave instead of me saying to you have a good night and you looking away from me and just doing whatever the hell it is that you're doing like what is wrong with the, the the mental state of job infrastructure in the world we're living in today? They probably thought they like ran the store. If you ever experienced that, there's been a few times when I ever walked into like an expensive store, just have a wee look around, and there's like people, you know, obviously there. There's usually like the people at the bottom and then someone at the top, like a general manager. The general manager's always so rude and bratty. They're like, oh, hello, do you want any help? Are you sure you should be in here? They kind of give off like, I don't know, just like, ugh, toxic behavior. They probably think they're so iconic and powerful because they're like the manager of the store. But it's like, keep in mind, sweetheart, you're still making a commission off people. And if you're rude, 
interested in, yet ain't gonna get that commission. If I ever do get loads of money, I kind of do want to like come across somebody who's really, really rude. Get loads of stuff piled up, and then whenever it goes to checkout, be like, oh yeah, I want her to get the commission, not you. You know, because you were really rude to me. So I'm sitting in my sister's car, and my blood is boiling. And tell me why online it says they're shut at 8 o'clock. Outside the f***ing shop, it says they're shut at 9 o'clock, and I go there at 7 o'clock, and it's Closed. That has happened to me so many times. It's like online a shop is meant to be open, but then it's just not open. It's like, how are you gonna have different times? The person in the shop will tell you a specific time, the outside of the shop will tell you a different time, and online they'll send even different time. It's so irritating because it's like surely they should get that right. Maybe it's just a wee bit of a mess up, but I feel like it happens with every single shop. And I'm standing outside and the woman in the windows looking at me like I'm the worst thing since the devil walking on earth. And then she has the cheek, like she's standing there with the cash registers in her hand like looking at me like i'm have 10 heads like who the f does she think she is like oh my god and like it's not even that like fair enough like if you work in like tesco or super value and you're shut at like 10 o'clock every night and you've been doing that for the last ages online it says you're shut at 10 o'clock every night outside your shop it says you're shut at 10 o'clock every night and someone comes in at 9 59 that person's a fucking for coming in at 9 59 but tell me why these have the cheek to be acting like everyone else is a whenever none of their signs are right. All I wanted to do was buy a wardrobe. And yet again, if she didn't give you dirty looks, she probably would have got that commission, think of it. They're literally missing out on money. It's like these people should treat every single customer very, very well. Just fake it, you don't have to like them. You could absolutely despise customer, but just put on a smile and pretend you like them. Because at the end of the day, if your little plan works, you'll be getting that commission. Okay, so I know all I do is complain about Aritzia, but I just spent $600 in the store and I bought a $450 coat. And, like, the way they treat you at the cash is absolutely insane. It blows my mind how bad the service is every single time. And that's coming from an ex-employee. I used to work there, like, seven years ago. So, obviously, she's worked there before and she's even shocked by the way to treat you. Do you reckon they're kind of told to, like, treat people badly? I did read a rumor online that, at, like, you know, luxury stores, the people are told to be rude, like, kind of trained to be rude. Basically, because, like, it makes the customer come back for more. I mean, I'm gonna be completely honest. If I walked into the store and had a really bad experience with people who worked there, I probably would walk out again. But she's walking away with, like, a sour taste in her mouth. She might not go back. And, by the way, that company she was talking about, about. We've got a few TikToks about that store. I'm hearing so much. I hate Aritzia. Aritzia workers are so mean. Like, they told me to go myself, and I literally just looked at them and went, okay. The next time an Aritzia worker tries any one of you, I'm gonna need you to stop making videos on TikTok and just do one of these. Oh, what you gonna so do? Um, are you done with that? Does it look like I'm done with like Sabrina? Thank you though. Guys, just give it right back to them. Like stop making TikTok videos. I don't care. They're still gonna be millionaires. They're still gonna make money. Just give it to them one time. Just be like, just be like, do I look done? Ooh. What's wrong? Imagine getting into a proper wee scrap. But yet again, if someone gives you a certain type of energy, give them that energy back. There has been times where someone's been a bit rude and a bit cold to me. I've been, you know, really sweet and they continue to be rude and cold. So do you want to do something? I just go snap and give it right back to them. And a lot of times they'll give you like a look as if to say, oh, why are you talking to me like that? And it's like, sweetheart, I'm just returning the energy you're throwing at me. POV, you're walking into a luxury store. Hey. Oh. Hey. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, at Kate Spade, you're probably gonna go there and you do spend more money. Yet again, it's always the luxury stores. And that's why I think they're actually told to be really rude. Because I've heard so many stories online. It's like the expensive places, the workers are so rude and entitled and snobby. And the thing is, it's always them. It's never like normal places, you know, Primark, Tesco's. I've always come across lovely people there. It's always the people who think that they've got like authority. And it's like so weird. It's like, ugh, just so nasty. Okay, you guys. So I am at the Braeburn, which is like a luxury mall in my town essentially and I came here Monday is Sunday is Mother's Day and I came here to go to Louis Vuitton to buy my mom a gift and tell me why I feel like all the Louis Vuitton girls are just kind of rude let me clarify it's not fair for me to make an umbrella statement for everyone but for most of the individuals that I've interacted with Especially the individuals standing outside the door, which I'm assuming are the managers, are always the most condescending 
in like just the rudest people. I've experienced that as well. It's like the managers, it's kind of like they're looking out for the people who look rich. And I've experienced it, you know, there have been times I've been in shops and they've treated someone who's like decked out in designer stuff so much better. It's probably because they think, you know, if they're nice to them, they'll get the commission. But keep in mind, us people who don't look rich might actually seek relief money. Remember, wealthy is quiet, even though I'm not wealthy, I'm literally broke. This is her right now. She's just kind of rude. I mean, I've experienced that as well. It's kind of sucky though. And the thing is, it's always in expensive shops. It's never in normal shops, you know, Tesco's, etc. I've had so many good experiences and, you know, lower end clothes are not lower, but you know, like normal clothes that normal people would wear, not expensive stuff. It's the expensive stores, like it puts me off. When it comes to luxury shopping at Roots, that can actually increase sales. I'm not gonna name names, but one of the rudest retail experience I've encountered was at Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton again, I swear that's literally the third or fourth time we've heard Louis Vuitton. And yet again, I do believe they actually are trained to be kind of rude and cold. I really wanted this bag, so I went into the store and I kid you not, I was ignored for a good 10 to 15 minutes. To be fair, all the sales associates were serving customers, so I get that they were busy. But there was no acknowledgement or someone will be with you in a sec. None of that at all. Finally, a lady attended to me and showed me the bag. And boy, I swear her cold nose was worse than a Siberian winter. It really felt like she didn't care about me. It was almost like she could smell that I wasn't one of those crazy rich Asians and I was just window shopping. Anyway, I got the bag and haven't returned to the boutique since then. And the bag is from spring 2017, so you do the math. Oh my god, so how many years ago was that? Six years, basically. So I haven't returned in six years. And yet again, if she was really nice, warm and bubbly, he could have returned the next week. It's just weird, isn't it? It's just bizarre. It's just the coldness. It's literally like they put on an act to push people away. I don't understand it because at the end of the day, if you're getting a commission, surely you'd want to be nice. Studies have shown that the ruder the staff is in a luxury brand store, the more products they sell. But it's not true. The ruder they are, the more products they sell. That just doesn't make any sense to me. Think of it. If you're trying to sell stuff and you're really rude to the customers, that's going to put them off, not make them want to support the brand. But if like you're really nice and bubbly, you know, they'll be like, oh, I had an amazing experience. I'm going to go back there next week. Is it like a thing that rich people like? I don't know. It's just weird yet again just be nice to everyone because you'll be getting that commission today i want to hear about the rudest customer service experience you've ever had i'll go first i had just started my career and i had had my first big paycheck so naturally i went to selfridges as anyone would i was looking at sunglasses and i had always dreamed of owning a pair of chanel sunglasses and i had seen some that i had my eye on and i picked them up and they were tortoiseshell but i had wanted the black ones so i asked the woman uh who was in the sunglasses area could she grab me them in black or do they have them in store she said uh they're 400 pounds <laughs> um i was like okay do you have them in black though i was so embarrassed because i wasn't used to shops like that and i was like 19 she goes Darling, they're 400 pounds. Yeah, I think she knows that. That's why she's asking you for another color. You know, just because somebody isn't decked out in designer stuff doesn't mean that they don't have the money. I mean, I've definitely wasted, you know, money in Gucci and Balenciaga. But you know, I'm not extremely rich. You know, I've bought like a few small pieces just because I wanted them. They kind of make it out like it's a millionaire place only. It's like, oh, you ain't a millionaire, you can't shop here. Do you know what's worse about this? I don't even have a sassy ending to it. I was so embarrassed that I just walked out and I ended up buying some dual ones and I've never bought anything from Chanel since. So because of that experience she's never bought from that brand ever since and she literally walked out and bought other stuff. I mean that is just proof that if you're rude to the customers they will not return. Well anyways guys that's really that video there. That is some really rude entitled retail workers who honestly in my opinion should get fired for their coldness. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching this point of view already and I'll see you all tomorrow for another video.